Hello everyone, this is VJLJ32 back again and I am just here to let you know that I have a massive clearance, a massive sale going on, tons and tons of decks I'm trying to get rid of. I still got a bunch of sealed duplicates that I'm trying to sell. Uh, I've added a few new ones since last time I probably made a video. I don't remember. I also have a ton of open decks that I'm trying to sell. Um, a bunch of magic tricks and DVDs, a couple of books that I'm also trying to sell. You'll see that all in this video. It's going to be a little bit long. You can, you know, skip through the magic tricks if you're not interested. It's like 10 or 12 minutes. If you're not interested in seeing the open decks, you don't have to watch the whole video, whatever, but there's tons of stuff. Uh, seal decks, there's a lot of Kickstarter decks. 311 Illusionist, Conjuring Arts, etc. etc. Nothing down in Dave. Um, maybe something Blue Crown, I don't remember. Just all sorts of stuff. A lot of good stuff. It's all good. Um, <laughs> for the open stuff, I have all sorts of stuff. Poker decks and Bridge decks from all sorts of companies around the world. Carter Moon Day, Piatnik. Uh, there's some Demarco. There's some Casino decks. There's deck from Australia, there's decks from Japan, there's some vintage decks, there's some Kickstarter prototypes, some custom decks, maybe, you know, a little something Ben Dave and Fury 11, and then some Blue Crown, um, just mostly a lot of, there's, there's some duplicates, there's a lot of decks I got that I just don't really have an interest in, don't want them. <laughs> And that sort of thing. Uh, just check out the video, you'll see lots of stuff. I'll try to keep this brief. Uh, payments are accepted via my website, thecardclub.net. All you have to do is once you figure out a total, check out with that total. If you are not in Canada, I will give you a Canadian value or an American value for the Canadian currency because my website isn't Canadian. So, actually, uh, what I'm doing is I'll give you. I'll, I'll do the currency conversion from American to Canadian or whatever to Canadian. So that, um, <clears throat> particularly if you're in the U.S., so that I'm not getting screwed because I could be losing out 20, 30, 50 bucks over the currency conversion. It, it could happen. And I, I don't want to lose out. Plus, I also got to keep in mind transaction fees and stuff like that via my website. And, and plus also shipping. And a lot of times shipping, I will just approximate it may be off a little bit one way or the other. Um, I try not to screw anyone on shipping. I know more or less the rates, depending on how many decks you're buying. But it's always a good idea for me to, you know, double check if necessary. Uh, shipping will happen as soon as necessary. I'll try to keep an updated list on what's been sold and whatnot. I am not looking to hold decks for anyone. A lot of times when I do stuff like this, people say, oh, can you hold this? Can you hold that? I'll get back to you. And then sometimes I never hear from them or they never change or they change their mind. And then I have other people who want to buy those decks and they can't because they're on hold. Not going to happen. If you want a deck, great. If you're not sure, don't say anything. <laughs> I'm not going to hold decks. Um, <clears throat> and that is that. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. I've talked long enough. Here is all the stuff that I'm selling. There is a lot. Hello everyone, this is uh, Vito Z32, aka Victor. And, um, also known as Victor, I am selling, I'm doing a, a big clearance, <laughs> clear out all my stuff. I'm going to be selling bunch of magic tricks. I've also got to have some magic tricks and DVDs. I also will have a bunch of decks that I'll do in another video. Uh, first of all, I also have some books here. Oh, let's put this out of the way, but yeah, this whole box is full of tricks and stuff. I got the Gibe, Gibe Sierra, how do you pronounce that? Uh, winter 2012 and summer 2012 editions for anyone interested. <clears throat> I 
fear that there's even a bookmark that comes with it that I just discovered. What the hell is that? <laughs> but this the one. So there's that. And now let's get on to the magic stuff. First of all, I got the Wheel of Secrets of David Stone, which I've never seen. I got this free from Illusionist. Haven't seen it, but there's a whole bunch of uh, tricks, I guess. And it's a whole lecture, basically. Tricks and all sorts of stuff. Um, there is Slam Tornado Coin Merge. You slam some coins together. There's instructions as well. There is a bunch of assorted stuff in here. I have no idea what it is, but I'll figure it out. I got actually some of this might be related to that, but I got Aura. I'll have to find out what goes with that. I've got Panic from Aaron Fisher. I got more miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> um, Hot Center from 311. I've got Magic Monte Dominoes. The changes, this one's still sealed, never opened it. This is from System 6 Magic, the uh, color changes, two different color changes. I got a good one here, Roberto Giobi Card College, Volume 1 and 2. I got the Raven. Do you make some anything in there? Whoops, I'm exposing magic. Uh, I should point out that most of these, I mean, I've opened them, I might have played around with a thing or two, but I've never performed with them. There's no, you know, major wear and tear use. There's some that I might have gotten from other people that, DVDs mainly that, I mean, this one's good. Or maybe I got that one myself, I don't know. I do got facts from the Loki Cross, which is... Side and Bissus card trick. I've got a deck with something. I've got Sexta Position by Devante from System 6. And it's a uh, forget what it is. <laughs> it's a card trick. They're almost, there's a lot of many card tricks. I got Child's Play from Chris. Congree, which is a pretty cool trick from RSVP Magic. I got a Triumph from O's Perlman. And I think I have a deck. That I, actually, they didn't, they didn't come with a deck, so there won't be a deck. <laughs> Although, I might be able to get you one. I do have Triumph decks that I probably don't need. I got the Gaff System from Illusionist comes with the deck. Good bargain on that one, I'm sure. Modern Triumph. And actually, that's what that other one was, now that I think of it. Juxta Possession was a Triumph trick as well, I believe. I could be wrong. Actually, it might be... Eh, whatever. Modern Triumph from uh, Michael Muldoon, System 6, comes with a deck. But I think you need a couple of decks for that as well. Quadrant from couple of guys here. Has the gimmicks. Everything should have gimmicks. And as you can see, you do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Color changing deck, vanishing box, shrinking deck, inverted box. It's pretty cool. I got another one from Ovis Perlman. This is the uh, Svengali deck included. I got Ultimate Impromptu Card Magic from Cameron Francis, which is from Big Blind Media. Going through uh, a little card trick where you penetrate a card with a card. I'm not sure who this is 
from it was just something that I got it was a freebie from somewhere I guess apparently it's from magicsoft.ch go figure I got taste uh, from Peter Egging and I do have the gimmick whoops again flashy magic I apologize just so I need it's there I got freeway by waiting system six magic Free effects, free slights, free double lifts. Look at that one of them is called shit. I got another good one. The Monica Miracles from Juan Towers. This is a bunch of DVDs. That one, you get to pay for that one if you want it. I mean, it, it, it's, it's going to be a deal compared to usual, but it's still going to be a few bucks. I'll try to give you a good deal. I got Collusion from Peter Duffy and Zenith Cock. It is autographed as well. Just a DVD with some tricks. I got this is Mentalism from Ritz Ferguson and Illusionist. Or this is Mentalism 2. This magic tricks Mentalism. I Twist with the gimmick. This is from Skulker. Everything is there. Oops. Um, I've got X Street Magic. <laughs> Um, yeah, obviously it has coarse language and apparently blue humor, and I have no idea what the hell blue humor is, but it's just magic tricks, street magic. I got revolutionary card magic from Jay Sankey. Um, I got extremely ambitious from Jay Sankey as well. I got. Evolution, which is from Magic Tau, apparently, and it's Bottle Cat Magic, obviously. I think I got that from the Blue Crown. I remember, I got Change, which will have a gimmick. It's from Stan's Minds. Yep, gimmick is there. Pretty cool little card effect, packet trick, where you go from like this to this. <laughs> Yeah, super subtle card miracles is basic card tricks. That is from Simon Simon Robo. Not familiar with him. Apparently it's from Magic Makers Inc. Go figure. I got another O's Perlman clutch. Which is just a DVD and it's Just some uh, kind of a pro trick. I've got Ed's from Matthew Beast, and it does have the gimmick deck. You'll have to excuse that it says Ed's on the bottom. I like to identify what it is so they know what it is. Otherwise, it's just a random deck. I got 30 tricks and tips using a hot rod, it includes the hot rods. Sky cap. And, oh, and this is from Magic Makers Inc. as well, the Hot Rod one. Wasn't aware of that. I got Skycap, which is from Paul Harris, apparently. And Luke Dancy and a couple other guys. And it's a bottle cap trick, where you basically put a straw through a bottle cap. It comes with gimmicks. As you can see, the straw goes right through. Pretty cool. I got Cello. From Gimmick Magic, I guess. Has a gimmicks. Apparently, it's in French. I don't understand it, but there is a French and English instructions in DVD. I've also got something. Uh, Back Twist for Matthew Beast includes a gimmick. Another good trick, I think. I got Cassian from Wilf's side. And it's from Sand Mines. And this is a little gimmick, obviously, envelope. And basically, so an empty envelope, drop it, boop, and money appears. Pretty cool, I think. And still following there. Insane from Andy Neiman. And apparently, that's just a DVD. Um, 
for Dixon. Obviously, uh, I do have a bunch of gimmicks here that I don't know exactly what they go with, but I'll figure it out. I do got Rock, Stock, and Bright from Illusionist. Peter McKidden. It's just a DVD. And I have Tool from David Stone. Includes a gimmick. And that's a pretty good one. Where you visually change sign cards and stuff like that. I got Empty from Marcus Eddy. This one does not have the gimmick because it broke. But you can probably make one up with just a tough case. I'm hoping. If you wanted, you can get it. I also have Boris Wilde any card at any birthday. And. I do still have a bunch of other DVDs that. I will determine whether or not I'm going to keep on. Probably I will. But that is a whole bunch of DVDs. Take one, take all, is magic tricks. And that's that. Stay tuned later. At some point in time, I will let you know what decks I'm partying with. See ya. Alright, so I found a few more magic items to mention. First of all, I guess sort of magic. I got these two. Manipulation decks that I got from Jerry 11. One I have opened, the other one you can see is still sealed. These are just ultra thin cards with tan skin colored backs for manipulation and whatnot. Printed in by Protea in South Africa, I believe it is. I've got the new versatile tossed out deck, which is um, I believe it's constructions in it, and by Eduardo something from Argentina. <laughs> I've got the bound deck. I have to mention that one. Simple little tracking gimmick, and needle through deck with the gimmick, and that's that. So that's that. I thought that goes on. Um, also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I also, I, th I think I'm going to part with my Anglo gaff deck, we'll see, and possibly others. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in anything. We'll figure out reasonable prices and not looking to, you know, sell them to all this stuff for tons and tons of money. I'm just looking to part with it for a decent amount, a fair amount. So yeah, let me know. I will get back to you soon with decks that I have selling. Hello everyone, VJZ32 back here and you're looking at some boxes on my bed. What are they? They are full of decks that I want to sell, that I need to sell. These are all, well, 99% sealed decks. I will have more that I will show you later on once I find them that are open. But I wanted to show you the sealed decks first and foremost that I would like to sell. Let's start with this box. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this one. There's a lot of decks. I'll try to keep it brief. Bains, you got the uh, <clears throat> starters, triplicates from uh, I guess it's through Home Run Games. Kickstarter. There's a, a red one and a blue one. Reprints or restorations. <clears throat> I've got the different deck in the red version, unbranded, which is from. Whoops, it's okay. It's okay. I threw it down, but it's it's got no dents. It's from Teach by Magic. I've also got two of the more recent green version. Very nice decks. I've got some very nice decks here. Origins First Edition and Limited Edition. Grail from Rick Davidson. Very elegant cards. These are decks that I'll be careful not to drop them. But that I'm sure you'd love to have in your collection. A lot of people have looked at them in the collection. 
I've got free at the Believe decks, and System 6 Magic, which I do believe somebody out there wants. Very nice decks as well. A couple from Big Blind Media, the Discovery deck, and a Carnival Elite. I've got from DeVoe, Blades, uh, MMD Blood Spear, and two of the new Gold Edition. Right there. <clears throat> I've got some here from Elite Playing Cards, which you may be interested in. There's the Evolution, Bicycle Evolution in blue. They came out with a red one recently. The Bicycle Majestic. Bicycle Collectors, which just came out recently. Very nice box. The cards are okay. Um, well, this one is uh, actually from Safe Citrus Card. I just got it. Bicycle Paragon. It's not from Elite, but it's in there. I had the Bicycle Excellent, which is from Elite. Uh, we got... Deck Starter. No seal on that one. The Aguila, another very nice deck that I know somebody would love to have. More nice decks. Mana Oracle Edition. And the Mana, the newer ones, the Zinfandel. And the Indigo. I apologize about the lighting. Very, very nice decks as well, as you can see. Also, I got a couple of decks from Robinson decks. These are the Continental and Crown Display decks from his Independence series they don't have any seal or anything like that but they've never been popped open or anything that's just the way they came another similar one here is the Dia de los Muertos unbranded one which is autographed by Dave Edgerly um, it is also number 2 95 out of 564 nice number nice little deck it is sealed this one but no cellophane or anything and it's just an unbranded tough case limited edition I got one Metropol Knox edition. Pretty cool deck. I got the Borderline, which is pretty nice looking. I've got some here from Collectible Playing Cards. Remember, if you go to collectiblepointcards.com, use the code VDOZ50 to get 10% off your order. Throwing in a little plug. They got the Bicycle Crystal, which was for members only. You can get it right here without membership. You got the Bicycle Thorn, which is actually pretty nice. And one of the few decks that they actually didn't do for Kickstarter. The Bicycle Day of the Dead. Not bad. You got the Bicycle Disruption. I don't remember if this is the limited edition tuck case or not, but there's two different tuck cases. Um, that one's okay. I got the Creepy. Unbranded limited uh, edition tuck case. It is number 169 out of a thousand. I got physique limited edition tuck case. A thousand of these that were made. And I do got two of the regular tuck cases, also unbranded. Don't be discouraged by breasts. <laughs> and also feral. Which is also from collectible playing cards. I've got Banshees, which is a plastic deck made for throwing. I also have an open one that I used for review. I was never able to throw them, but I will also be partying whoops with that one. I almost threw that one, see that? Ay ay ay. Um Vert Spring Summer 2015 edition. I know somebody wants that one for sure. I've got a bunch of decks here from NPC. Two red and two blue of the special red edition, limited pre-release edition for Kickstarter only. They added this diamond back, similar to bees. But still, that's a nice little thing to have. I also have the regular versions. Two red, two blue. I've got London 2012 decks. I've got the, the gold one. And the silver, I do not have the bronze one. However, I mean, I'm sure you can find it out there if you want to have the complete set. Or I could try to help you find one. But, um, I'm definitely keeping one anyways. Also, I have the 
the white adjacent ornates. I only have the emerald, the scarlet, and the sapphire. The the purple one, whatever it was called. Uh, was it Ramfeist or something? I don't remember what it was. That one was sold individually. Unfortunately, it breaks up the set, but still nice to have anyways. And these are the three most common colors for playing cards anyways. And you can probably find it somewhere if you really want the complete set. And then, of course, there was the Onyx, which was also sold. I do have some Titanic decks. I have the Titanic Deluxe, which is printed by Expert Point Cards, I believe it was. Yep. And I also have a bicycle branded Titanic deck. This is the Death deck, <clears throat> as indicated by the Iceberg and the Titanic in the Darkness. This one does not have any seals, so this is the random one. I do have the Bicycle United Cars deck, pretty cool. I do have two of the miscellaneous goods company decks, black and red, I guess for the second edition, whatever, when they're actually still good. <laughs> uh, Bicycle Quicksilver from uh, eh, Circle City Cards. There it is. And this one, of course, is a bit harder to find, but pretty nice. And I also have also from uh, Robert Tomlinson here so many global unrest decks. I have. The green one and two of the red ones. I don't know which one is supposed to be allies and which one is Axis. Would have been nice if there was some kind of indication. And I also got the CSA Civil Unrest Unbranded Civil Unrest deck. Look at that. You can get something right here, right now. Special deal with that flag on it. Won't find it anywhere else. Been pulled everywhere. I got it. You want it? You can have it. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on with the next box. It is not going to be a popular one because it's mainly illusionist. <laughs> but let's get on with it. I do have Artifice, Tundra Artifice, Purple Artifice, and Emerald Artifice. It's all my favorite illusionist decks, so definitely recommend them. I got LTDs in purple and blue. They're okay, I suppose. The executive is not bad. Bicycle Ghost, which of course is a pretty nice deck. That is the second edition, not the first edition. I do have the first edition, but it's not available. Pressers, another nice deck from Illusionist. Before we were, well, before Madison basically took over. <laughs> we got the Infinity. There's also one of my favorites, and then a nice one. We got Ignite and Fathom. Again, more pretty cool decks. I wonder what happened to the series. They got water and fire, and then they gave up. Where is that earth and air and steel? Well, I guess they gave the steel, but it wasn't part of the series. But earth and air would have been nice. Instead, it seems they forgot about the series, and they decided to just do Madness and everything. Uh, speaking of which, <laughs> we do got Madison White Rounders, or... Madison Rounders in white. I've also got two brown rounders. And I do have one black. Remember I said some of them were opened? This is one of those that is open. Um, it has been shuffled, but it's in excellent condition. It's maybe used once or twice. That's it. It's just a little shuffling or whatever. You know, all my decks are in mint condition. <laughs> and I got Madison Dealers, the red bordered version, not the borderless. If there was a borderless, I don't remember. And two of the green Madison Dealers. Those ones don't have borders. I've got Bicycle Saddle Masters times two. Uh, you know, they're, they're not bad. I know that Alan that cards or us. This is one of his favorite decks, if I recall correctly. Speaking of black, I also got two black kings. They're all right. I also got seven of the regular kings decks. You have five bucks each. I'll sell them to you. Uh, I also got a few more. I got two mini LTDs. Aren't they cute? 
and one blue mini artifice deck, uh, first edition, I guess, because they sent me, they were screwing, when they released the second edition, they were screwing them up, and they sent some blue first editions mixed up. I got that replaced, and I didn't have to destroy the deck, surprisingly. And then, uh, well, it's extra, so if anyone wants it, it's open, but it's barely touched. I got a few more here that are not really missed. Radical 80s from Kickstarter. Uh, this has got this nice cassette case, so it's unbranded. Uh, you can open it. Pretty cool cards. The cassette bag and everything. Just 80s style. I really like that. Although this case uh, does cause a little wear and tear on it. A little beast on the sides of the cards, but if you don't open it, it's okay. <laughs> uh, I've also got one of the run decks. I think this is kind of the standard one. Whatever it is, it has gold writing on it. It had a very nice deck. There's three versions. There's a bankroll. I think that one has red writing. And then there was another one. I think it has silver writing. I'm pretty sure this is a standard one. One more. And it comes in this nice little envelope with a wax seal. I opened it because I wanted to see if it was, you know, the same thing that it was. Uh, I can always glue that back on. I probably will. Don't tell anyone. And what it is, is the Bicycle Call of Cthulhu Riving Dark. There's no cellophane on this. But it is numbered 459 out of 1000, so that's pretty cool. Time to get into box number three out of the four. And this one, oh, it's a little bit more standard stuff. Let's see what we got. We got Ascal Point Cards in red and blue. These are basically casino type decks, casino style decks from Angel Point Cards in Japan. I've got two Ace Authentics, blue and purple, and purple and blue and they don't have any seals on it but they they just came inside of a box a four pack they're still brand new never opened haven't been cracked open um i'm also going to sell the other two that i got that are open sorry i had to stop for the phone <laughs> uh what else do I, I got jet setter playing cards from paul rocchio i've got Quality Brown Edition, pretty cool. Put it by Legends, I'm guessing. I've also got the B Miracle deck in black and one in blue. It's basically B Dining decks. I don't remember what that was on this one. Might be the same. I got some Aristocrats. This is a Casino Stinger back, unbranded. Pretty rare find, I think. And I also got one that is a red one that is uh, branded Quinault Beats. So it's a casino back, but it's a stinker back, aristocrat, old school, people like Cincinnati. There you go. I got a Skull Core. Is it back? And also from Skull Core, I got the Ogma. Mm, look at that. There you go. <laughs> you will buy this deck. I've got one tally hole black circle back. Again, a little bit hard to find nowadays. I like for, uh, tally holes. I got all three of the allies decks the blue, the purple, crimson, whatever, and the black. Pretty cool. Printed by Legends, I believe. Judging by the, the thickness and everything. I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. So. I got one white knuckle deck, uh, another older deck in blue, sealed, brand new. One aristocrat banknote in red, that's all I got left. The cell, anyways. A streamline in blue. This one is cheap, I'll give it to you cheap. I got a couple of Tahoes in blue. Uh, I guess it's from, for, from Dan and Dave. I got 1323 and 1331 out of 2500. So the number. I got this. Texan deck from USB-C. Nice, cool, old-school looking deck. I've got 
Ah. Cerulean Pearl from Rex Lighting Edition. And it is numbered 33 out of 50. Very limited amount of FX. Pretty cool. I got the. <laughs> you go from one extreme to the next. This is a real 38P. It is USB C printed. It's got like a camouflage type back. Pretty standard. I will also be selling my open ones. I got four different ones. Um, I got the Bicycle Cigar 808 deck. This one is pretty cool. It is a kind of a misprint. Check this out. There is a seal, or part of a seal, or two seals, whatever that have been stuck to the side. That's got to be worth something. <laughs> um, I've got this blue gold standard. You can tell by the gold ribbon. And by this, it's a traditionally cut deck. I don't remember if it has a B stock or not, but it's definitely traditional cut. Made for Richard Turner. Nice. So if you like those types of decks. I do got this one black standard for a rider back, as you say. I've got a bicycle speakeasy. Or uh, sorry, I'm confused. Bicycle sideshow freaks, not speakeasy. This of course has a sideshow freak circus theme. Pretty cool. Bicycle Joker. Now that's a pretty cool deck. It's just basically 54 Jokers. It's pretty awesome. <coughs> Club 808 deck. I got the Bicycle Pluma in blue. Another pretty nice deck. I got an older deck, the Bicycle Premier deck. That was from BM Poker World. Yeah, so you know it's old. <laughs> um, doesn't say the date. But uh, here's your back. Pretty cool. Fancy, yet kind of standard. Uh, bicycle escape map, which is pretty nice as well. I apologize if I'm going a bit fast, but I got lots of so. I got the dragon backs, red, blue, and gold. Get them now. While I don't want supplies last. Bicycle serpent, which is also very nice. I like it. Um, I do got another. Simple one, just the World Series of Poker in red. And we got a Bicycle Griffin, which, uh, yep, yeah, that's an 808 deck as well. Pretty nice. And Bicycle Tragic Royalty, which is also cool and fun. Alright, one more box to go, basically. And let's see what we got in this one. All sorts of cool stuff as well, I can see it. We got Vanda Golden and Crimson Editions. I don't have any extras of the purple ones, but they're available on the website if you want them. Hmm. Also from Vanda, I got the mustache, which I believe they were sold out on. And I've also got all three of the Polar Stacks, Lunar, Solar, and Eclipse. Which is uh, 704 out of 5,000. It's numbered, so that's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I've got the encoded standard edition in blue. Um, I think it was numbered, but it's not. Not a big deal. Pretty nice. I've got two of the Icon decks from Benji Taylor. And. I've got one more that's open that I'm going to be selling. I've got the Wrath from Sinlin, which is pretty nice. Mechanic VR2 from Mechanic Industries with an animated back. That's pretty cool. i got a couple of Crown decks, one blue, one green, first edition. Try to find those anywhere. These are the ones that don't have any embossing on the tuck case. I used to have a red, but I guess I sold it. I got the Brazil 2014, which is, I, I think it's a pretty cool deck, I like it. And the Altruism. I've got two of the Russian Folk Arts, which are from Natalia Silver, Silver I should say. Pretty cool. Uh, I like them. I've got a Global Titan from Conjuring Arts. I think this is the first, or one of the first decks that Xbox Mike Arts produced. And it's the gold back. I got the B Smith back in blue. I've also got 
Smith number three in green, and this is obviously by expert playing cards. Yep, I got from a recent Kickstarter Moku Hanga, which is a nice Asian themed deck made by MPC, if I recall correctly. I've got Massa, which is another nice deck, DMC Black and Gold, and Drum and Money Coots. I got the University of Chicago deck, which has gargoyles, grotesques, and figures. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Not the best quality, unfortunately, but good for collectors. I do have an open one as well that I'm going to be partying with. I got the Prime Noir Edition. Some Prime Poker Cards. I got two Floral Ducks, Purple and Green, which are from a Lace Studio and pretty nice. I got the Carpathia, which again is not bad. And I got the Sinners from Alan Wilson, which is also pretty cool, uh, despite being simple or standard, I should say, basically. More or less standard. Um, we got some Fear 11 decks. I got Bicycle Guardians. This is first edition Cincinnati. Get them all you can. I got Blue Jacks. They are open, unfortunately. However, like never used. Um, still in brand new deck border. I don't know why it was open, but it was never used. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. This one still has a cellophane. I just opened it because I was I got this from an eBay. I got screwed over. Uh, I was bought it on the premise. That it was a first edition Jack Sellers non USB C deck. What I should have been hinted at was that there was no seal on on it, so I should have known it wasn't first edition, but they assured me it was. And then one day I decided to open it to double check and I found out that it was. So that's it. It was open to double check, but it's still brand new. I got a medallions. I don't know if this is first or second edition, but it's a very nice deck. Animal Kingdom, also a pretty cool deck. And go love me, buy it if you love me. Because I would love it if you did. Uh, I got the Bicycle Archangels, also pretty nice. And a very cool one, Sentinels. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. But it's a really nice deck, I like it. I got a more, the, the Red Edition, which was only sold with the magic kit so here it is if you want it the Victoria deck which is from already handcrafted it does a lot of card clips and whatnot very nice deck nonetheless I've got the dark moon sign from Enigma LTD <clears throat> I've got some from Albino Bay and I still have one name of the wind it's the last one I have left I don't know if um, this is, you know, what back that is, but there's one left. I might have it. I probably have it on my list somewhere on Facebook, but I don't have it on here at the moment. I got unbranded Goonies. I've got a Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? <laughs> when you want to buy decks. Hey, Jose, 32. And I got the Hotcakes in black and red. These are like, the only two who side decks I have left. Definitely nice decks. I got one couple more here to show you. Nice case, eh? Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's a Conjuring Arts case. And within that case, I have the Lux Gold and Silver Edition, Saddle Editions, whatever they're calling them. Printed by Legends. Very nice decks. And I've got eight of the Zen Pure. Oh, I'll give you a deal. Buy a Zen Pure and the King's deck. It's going to be a good deal. That is what I've got for sealed decks. I have a massive amount of open decks that I will be doing sometime this weekend. I will sort them to you. That's that. See ya. I should mention very quickly, by the way. 
I am not looking for anyone to contact me and say, please hold this, please hold that. You want something, buy it. That is it. Because so many times people will say, don't hold this, hold that, or I'm going to buy this, I'm going to buy that. But then they never follow through. I want these decks sold. I want them gone. I want somebody else to take possession of these beautiful decks for their own collections and sharing my collection with you. So get them while you can. And same goes with the magic tricks and stuff like that. If you want it, buy it. If you're not sure, think about it. Get back to me. Uh, I'm not holding anything for anyone. That's that. All right, everyone, the DSA 32, aka the Dicker, back again. You've been waiting for it. Here it is, all my open decks. A couple of items that are actually sealed that I'm looking to part with. Hello, right, everyone, this is Victor, the DSA 32. You've been waiting for it. Here it is, all my open decks that I'm looking to sell. There's a whole mix of stuff. There's some newer stuff. There's Kind of standard poker decks, some good sized decks, some vintage, some duplicates, all sorts of stuff. Let's get into it. And I call it a call even I'm using my old camera because my uh, phone is a little bit low on that camera. So let's see. First of all, we got the Ricky J deck. It's a B deck. I got two four sign Sioux decks. <coughs> My goodness, I apologize. Lots of dust, I guess. <laughs> um, they're okay. More vintage, the bridge size. I've got a World Cup USA 94, USBC again. Green cards, this is not USBC, it's bridge size, it's environmental deck. I got a couple of Hoyle. Good size decks, shellbacks, pretty cool. Uh, I got a magic circle deck, card of Monday. Printed a bicycle, a large print. It's a good size deck, very large print. Ah, I don't really need it. Another deck, this is Old Style. Howl Man's Old Style, it's a beer company deck, a little bit older. Good size again. A couple more bridge ones here. These are from Egg Mueller, which apparently is owned by Carter Munde. They got, um, you know, decent backs, European style court cards, and everything, more or less. Or at least nice court cards. Uh, good size, in case I didn't mention it. Another older deck, Hotel Fremont Casino deck. Deck 1, 2nd edition, 311, Mint Candice, I'm guessing. <laughs> Strange Head Society, which was a failed Kickstarter that got produced anyways, for better or worse. Grimaud, uh, from France, just kind of standard poker deck. Blue, I got the Demon decks, which were from a Kickstarter. Uh, standard one, and the limited edition one, that's the back design for the limited. I've got Blackjack Brand from Carter Moon Day in red and blue. It's kind of standard poker decks, casino backs. Pretty nice, they're good quality. Another Kickstarter one, League of Monsters, printed by I have no idea who. <laughs> Another one from Kickstarter, The Vict. So again, don't know who printed it. It's okay, I guess. I got another one from Kickstarter. This one's USB-C printed, the fine line playing cards. These ones have very strange faces. Not standard faces at all. I got a couple of Copé Casino decks. One red, one blue. From Brazil. Uh, two different backs. One is a little bit more fancier than the other. There you go. I've got uh, Fournier Tribus. It's a plastic deck from Fournier and it's got a pretty fancy back. I've got from Diamond Jim Tyler. Two of his original branded decks, Jamako decks. Uh, I believe he sold out all these. So they're a little bit hard to find. 
I got an older Zach Daniels deck. It doesn't have a tuck case, just a plastic case. Mm. Uh, another Kickstarter one, Plain Arts. It's a plastic deck from Piatnik. Really cool. Uh, it's a transformational type deck, similar to the Ultimate deck from Ben and Day. Just different artists for different cards. They do have, uh, I do have um, plastic USB-C versions coming, so willing to part with that. I got another Kickstarter. This is actually a, it's not a failed Kickstarter. These are actually Key West Casino, the prototypes, which are Liberty Plane cards. I believe it is. Pretty cool. That's another thing. Prototypes from Kickstarter, you'll see. Fournier Deluxe, red and blue. You know, kind of simple casinos. Decks, or uh, standard decks. Smirnoff Rocket, which is pretty cool, USB-C deck. E Lovecraft deck, which I got not too long ago. Don't know who produced it, but it's not bad. Grainback deck, which is also a Kickstarter, produced by a company in the UK, Ivory, I believe. Yes, Ivory Graphics. It's not bad. I got the Bicycle Allure Gilded Edition. Oswald's a speakeasy, which has actually uh, survived Hurricane Katrina 10 years ago. That's autographed by Mr. Harry Anderson, so that's pretty cool. Um, I got Zombie White and Zombie Black, which was from Brian Lee, Warpunk Games. Another Kickstarter. I got all three of the FIFA 2014 decks where uh, orange, green, and blue. They're Carter Munde printed. I've got, speaking of Carter Munde, Ace Authentic in all four colors red, blue, green, and black. That's what I've set. I've got a Kickstarter Caravan of Sears. How do you like my deck fanning? <laughs> uh, there's a Cardamancer, Intuition, and Novice. They're all fortune telling decks. There's a beginner deck, a advanced deck, and a experienced deck, I guess, basically. Kind of like a beginner, medium, and hard. <laughs> there they are, red, blue, and silver. I got some Realtree decks. There's Realtree AP, APG, APC, and another AP. Uh, they all got these kind of, uh, tree backs. This one actually has special ace of spades, as you can see. Pretty simple, straightforward decks. I've got a couple of B narrow size decks, a little bit harder to find, good size. I've got a Fulton's Clip Joint. I do have another one, don't worry. <laughs> I've got, um, a couple of decks here that are... Odd branded decks. They just have aviator cards in them. There's a battle axe, planet, and target. Not related to the story. And yeah, they're just a little bit older USB C decks, good quality, standard decks, aviator decks. Don't go wrong with that. I do have a couple of sealed ones here Playwright Standards, a blue one, which is standard index, and a red one, which is jumbo index. That I had extras of, they were sealed. I didn't realize it, but there you are. Um, I got this interesting Angel deck of cards. A little bit older, I guess. Made in Japan by Angel Point Card Company. It's got like a floral back to it. Pretty cool. Bridge size again. Speaking of Angel, I also have two of their standard poker decks, number 810s, red and blue. I've got more Fourniers. I got four color set of Fourniers, red, blue, green, and orange. These are 818s. I got a couple of B decks, Mind Play Casino, I guess. Hmm. Uh, might as well part with them. Mindplay.net. The standard VDEX. I've got a Paulson Casino deck, New Jack 22, and kind of a standard deck. 
I got a complete set of NOC decks. I think this is second edition. I'm not sure. These have the standard, standard faces. I'm keeping the ones that have the slightly recolored standard faces. But yeah, all five colors. CVS Poker Club, red and blue. This poker decks. I got two Anglo decks. Giant backs. I figured since I actually have a giant deck with this back, I don't really need these ones. I got enough angle decks, anyways. I got a Queen's Slipper deck from Australia. And I do have an angle daft deck available as well if anyone is interested. University of Chicago deck. I do have a sealed one as well. Just a pretty cool deck. I have this casino deck. It's Card of Moon Day. This is standard poker type deck. Hillian Court, these are Legends of Zelda themed, green and blue, non-USB-C, but pretty new. I got these USB-C decks though, Alice in Wonderland, these are from Deck Starter, I just figured I'll part with them. I got this deck, um, it's a European, possibly Russian style deck, nice back, it's got those European courts where it's like the R and the D on it I believe. No tuck case or anything. I got the CMYK playing cards. This is the USB-C version. Also have the original non-USB-C one. Intense Brids. This, uh, the box is pretty much handed. But that's just the way I got it. But it, I did put it in a nice little plastic case for protection. It is just a standard deck more or less. Intense bridge, bridge size, obviously. Uh, cool thing about this is that it actually has four additional court cards, which are the jills. So you got jacks, jills, queens, and kings. So pretty unique. I got a Piatnik poker deck. I got this Thomas Solomon deck. I'm not overly familiar with him, but apparently some self-proclaimed world's greatest escape artist. It is actually autographed. And it is a pack design. It's a Tomoko deck. I got two Derby decks. Again, kind of standard poker decks. They're very good quality. They're printed by Paulson, I believe. I like the quality anyways. I've got a free pack of Nuggets. Fake Nuggets, but Nuggets. If anyone is interested. I've got a Friars Club, the orange one. It has some dented to it. It's uh, Illusionist selling scratch and dent decks. <laughs> They're having a scratch and dent sale, so I figured I would do the same there. Mostly in excellent condition. It's just the tuck case is a bit damaged. You might see a couple of cards of slight damage, but I do have others, so I can part with this. I've got a Royal Caribbean deck. It is bridge size. It's marked as 1984, September 2 to 9, so that's pretty cool. I didn't like that. Uh, stars in motion, Olympic deck from 1984. It's good size, USB-C. And I got a couple of lefty decks, red and blue, bicycle lefty decks. One is the original, the other is a more recent House of Point Cards version. Did I lie when I said it would be all sorts of stuff? By the way, in case I didn't mention, there's also Kickstarter prototypes Available, so that might not have even been produced. Speaking of which, I have some prototypes I got recently, mythical playing cards. Uh, currently on Kickstarter, you can have the prototypes, including this one that may not even get funded. It's very cool. I got MMD number two, Magician's Last Eye. I've got a Noble House Piatnik deck. I got a couple of Tardom Day Low Vision decks. Best Made Company from New York. It's USB-C. I got this interesting deck. It's called the Outlaws of the Mars. Very Japanese style deck. Uh, I don't know who produced it, but it's pretty interesting. I've got a couple of Demacos here. Freddy's Club Casino. And a red and black. 
these are traditional stock Guinness good quality I got bicycle seconds in red and blue just rider backs plugged nickel prototype printed by Liberty Plain Cards I believe I've got another Paulson deck this is it is something uh, oh it's Queen's Casino this one does have clip corners but still decent I've got an expert at the card table, second edition, I'm keeping the first edition obviously. I figured, what I need two for? Icons, I also have two that are sealed. That's some Kickstarter of course. I got the Royal Slice tea pack which is pretty interesting. I've got Star Wars Vehicles, Villains deck, this is Carter Monday produced. I've got a Kickstarter company, Tlingit, Lingit's Edition. Uh, here's your bat design. It's a Kickstarter deck, USB-C produced. Opium playing cards, red and blue. This is from, I believe, India. You'll find that those ones are a little bit warped, but that's just how I got them. That's how they bid. They hadn't flattened out. I've got History of Bradford County from Robert Tomlinson. Pretty cool, but I decided I can live without it. And um, the reason why I'm pointing with all these decks is just to make room for more and to trim down my collection, and that's that. And these are printed by his company in China. Good quality. I got the Make It a Jack Cocktail, Jack Daniels deck, which is a Hoyle deck. I've got recipes on every card. The Ferguson Icebreaker deck, which is pretty cool. It does have some reveals and markings and whatnot I believe. Good deck for Magic USBC. I got the Sun Pacific deck which is Binion's Casino. Um I got this one, I don't know if anyone wants it, but it's a golf challenge cards. That uh was a sample I got from a card company. That's your back design that you see in the faces. They all got golf stuff on them. If you're a golfer, you might want it. Oh don't sell the cheap, don't worry. King's card, which is, I don't even know who produced it, but it's a marked deck. I got another Copic Casino deck, a uh, red version of the blue one that I had. And the other box. I got Seep's Head. These are USB-C decks. They are a game. They're decent backs. They're good quality. They have 32 cards, basically 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s, jacks, queens, kings, and aces. And tons of rules. If anyone wants it, I got the fat pack, which has eight different suits. Obviously, thick, it's fat. I've got Double Crude, which is a Carter Munde deck. It's pretty nice quality, very nice back. Here's that other CMYK deck, non USBC original version. I do have a bicycle rummy which is that vintage deck, I don't remember which one, Tangent or something. I got a Walking Dead deck. Don't know who produced it. American Airlines deck, which this is the back design. USB-C. Haunted Casino Ghost Cards, which has skull themes. I don't know who produced that one either. Another one I don't know who was produced by is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park Playing Cards. It's, yeah, a souvenir deck. I got a Matt Bush deck. These are produced by Ad Magic. And pretty uh, interesting cards, as you can see. I got some more Jamakos. These are the Mardi Gras Casino. I think there is kind of a purple and a green. It's not the color of the box. It's just a green. And these ones have the Alpha stock finish, whatever. There is a difference between traditional and Alpha. Uh, I got some mini decks I'm willing to part with. Flowers from Alien Inc. and the Home Run Zombie Riders. I got Lose World playing cards from Lufthansa Airlines. Kind of a little fun deck. It's bridge sized. Uh, as is the Fat Pack as well and the Noble House if I didn't mention. 
Speaking of boot size, I do have more. I got the Export A from RJ Reynolds and Vantage. The USB C. I also got these two decks. They're colorful little decks with four colored suits. Fun. I like them. The good size. Um, I believe they. I'm not exactly sure who produced them. It might have been Carter Moon Day. I don't remember. But they're John Newman cards. Here's your back design. Simple. Um, I got some more American Airlines deck. Uh, first class and a business class. Good size. This one's got a nice little fuzzy top case. Here's what you get. Um, and the, the other one's the same except that it's blue. Don't know who produced them. They're not, you know, the best quality, but they're cool little kind of vintage decks. Um, I do got this pretty interesting deck. You know how USB-C has released foil backs recently? Well, check this one out. This is an old school kind of a foil back. Or maybe it's just very signed in metallic ink. It also has gilded edges. Bridge size. No tuck case, that's just the way I got it. I do actually have a set of gold and silver like that. More bridge size decks. Bed guard. There's blue, green, and a pink color. That's basically the back design. There's Jamako. They got yellow faces. If anyone's interested in learning more about any of these decks, I do have reviews on my channel, unless they disappeared. I'm going to part with one of these blue ribbon filigrees. It's a vintage one. It does have a bit of stainage, and I should point out that this too is also stained, but it's still a really cool, hard to find vintage deck. I do have another one though. Um, Prism Knight Prototype. Pretty cool. Couple of Victoria decks from a local store. This kind of dollar store decks. But they're not bad. Um, I got a 601 Eagle from Carter Moon Day. Eagle back. Actually, I'm not even sure that's what the other decks have. This is also Carter Moon Day. It's good size. It's got like a cell back. C cells. Look to it. Pretty interesting. I got, I decided to part with this one, the Triangles Prototype. Not a big fan of it. But it's USB-C. I got, as I mentioned, I have one sealed and one open Banshee's deck. Foreign cards. I got this uh, Spanish deck. This is not the back design, I should show you that. They're actually pretty thin as well. And a little bit bigger than a standard. Focus says, but you got Spanish faces, and here's your back. It's similar but different to the top case. And they're decent quality, I guess. Um, a couple more Carter Mundes Blackjack brand Sahara Casinos, and these ones are not cancelled or anything. Although, I don't think they were officially used in the casino. Um, I got this USB-C deck. It's a Charming Optical Illusion and Charming Soy. I'll show you the backs. They're a little bit weird. And the face is custom as well. Like I said, reviews on my channel. I'm not going to go through every single deck. I got an Aristocrat Quinault Beach Stinger back. I have one that's sealed as well. Here it is. Stinger back. Nice. Cool. Uh, Maxpedition Plastic Tactical Field Plane Cards. I got this, which is a odd Day of the Dead deck, kind of a prototype, um, sort of. But it was from Kickstarter. I don't know if they were funded. I don't think they were, but they apparently sell these uh, on like the piers in California. <laughs> Little stand, whatever. They're okay. They're actually pretty good quality. I got this Honda Accord deck, which it doesn't identify it, but I'm fairly certain it's USB-C. It's good quality. Strange Music deck, which is a bridge size deck. It's just a little weird on deck. And another bridge size deck, 575 Espanol, which is standard poker deck, ironically made in uh, Israel, I believe. You know, they got a, well, they said they got a Spanish design, but... 
the only thing Spanish maybe about them is the back design. The face is all just standard. So, that is that. Alright, so I do have one more box to go for. It's a smaller box. Oh, that is just taking a while. First of all, from Kickstarter, a War of Kings. Not to printed it. Might have been Liberty. I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've got some Alien Zinc Galaxy cards. First edition, which had a pretty nice quality. The second edition, which has a pretty nice back. And the Infinity edition, which is fine as well. And I thought it might have been numbered, but whatever. I've got a Jet Setter Prototype from Paul Rocchio. Pretty cool. You can say Layout Prototype coming to Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Definitely rare. I've got more Ace Authentics purple and blue backs. I got two that are sealed as well, or at least never used. I got Kingdoms of Urden, three different versions. They're similar, but the faces are a bit different. I also have bonus cards that go with one of them that has a completely different set of court cards for the diamonds. Or cards, or all the cards for the diamonds, really. Another prototype deck, it's concentric, which was never funded. Pretty cool and good quality, or a decent quality. You can see the faces are pretty interesting. Um, Absinthe. How do you pronounce it? V2. Eh, it's more or less the same as the first edition, so screw it. Moon Prism, which is a Sailor Moon theme deck. Uh, I don't know who produced it. Another one I'm not sure who produced is this Stealth MK1 deck. It's okay quality. It's there if anyone wants it. <laughs> uh, Marvel Extreme. And then I also have some sets. A World Series of Poker set in a nice tin case. I uh, don't know who produced these decks. Definitely not USB-C, but they're okay. It comes with rules. I got this Congress set, two different decks, pretty cool, vintage. A set of Ellen playing cards, printed by Timaco, good quality. And last but not least, this, which comes in this pretty cool case. They are World Cup 78 decks, green and brown. Mandal, um, pretty cool European style faces. These are thick. Don't buy these for fan of force and they won't fan of force. Not only are they almost 40 years old. God, I'm old. <laughs> but they're also like kind of thick cardboardy type cards. But definitely collectible. So that is that. Selling a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. Rare, the odd. Interesting, cool. Duplicates. Poker decks, bridge decks, vintage. You name it, I got it. That's what I've got. I apologize if it's a bit long. If you're interested in anything at all, let me know. We'll work something out. Sipping. I prefer North American sipping. It's easier, it's faster, it's more secure, but worldwide sipping is available. The more you buy, the more it's going to cost, obviously. That is that. See you next time. All right, one more thing to add on on the decks that are open. I got a couple more. I forgot to mention one. Is the mini... Galaxy D2 deck and the other one is Card Masters Gold Seal Gilded Edition. I decided I don't need it. So here it is. Gilded Edges. If you want it, this is from uh, DeVoe and Lords, now World Card Experts. And that's that.